All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Engineer Hussein Mosapi, and in this video, we'll be looking at what is known as parametric differentiation. So, before we begin, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so I need you to understand that in calculus, a parametric derivative is simply just a derivative of a dependent variable with respect to another dependent variable. It is taken when both variables depend on an another independent third variable might not make sense by first glance but what i'm trying to illustrate is that let's take for instance instead of us just having say y of x being defined explicitly in terms of the independent variable x it can also be defined in terms of both x and y but in that case it will be defined both in x and y in terms of a third variable which will be regarded to be let's say p s or t these third variables are called the parameters thus having parametric differentiation now the best way you can understand this is by us looking at some examples let's take for instance we have the following examples let's say example one says that it's given that given that x is equal to 8 plus t squared and say y is equal to 4 t squared minus 5 t to the power 4. we have been asked to find say dy over dx the derivative of y with respect to x so all we have to do is simply look for the dy and the dx now for the dy i'm going to get the equation that has y which is y being equal to 4 t squared minus 5 t to the power 4 as you can see x is uh, defined by t while y also has the third variable at t. So I'm going to take the derivative of x and y with respect to the third to the third variable, which is the parameter. So I'll say dy over dt is equal to 8t minus 20t squared. So this is my derivative of y with respect to t. Now for me to find my dx, I need to use the equation having x. And this equation is x being equal to 8 plus t squared. Then I'll find the derivative of x with respect to t, which will be simply 2t. Now, since I'm having this and do have a dt, I can just take now the derivative of this with respect to the other derivative. What I'm trying to say is that my dy over dx is equal to dy over dt over dx over dt this is the same as one having dy over dt divided by dx over dt this in turn gives you dy over dt times dt over at dx this cancels with that and you end up having dy over at dx so all we have to do now is to substitute. We know that our dy over dt is equal to 8t minus 20t cubed. As you can remember from our previous solving, we're having it's supposed to be cubed there, as you can see, because that would be 20t cubed. So as you can see, we're having that. So we're also going to get the derivative which was created which is a dx over at dt dx over dt was found to be what 2t as we found it earlier on there so now that we have that all we're going to do is just to say okay dy over dx is equal to dy over dt over dx over dt which gives me 8t minus 20t cubed over 2t so dy over dx is equal to now this can be simplified i can factor out the t and i'll have 
I cannot just work out the t. I can also pull out the 2 from this. So I get 2t. And now I have uh, 4 minus 10t squared. Like that. Over 2t. Now the 2t comes out the 2t. Therefore, dy over dx is equal to 4 minus 10t squared. And that will be the final answer for that particular example. Now, imagine we also have maybe a chess that looks like this. Let's say we have x being equal to cos t and y being equal to what? Sin t. You can always pause the video and attempt to do it on your own. All right. So what we're going to do is to find the derivative of this guy and that guy with respect to the third variable. So dy over dt is equal to the derivative of sine, you get cos what? Cos t. So you're going to get cos t. Then dx over dt, you will get negative sine t. So dy over dx is equal to dy over dt over dx over dt. This in turn will give you cos t over negative sine t. And this will be your final answer. Now, if you want, you can say dy over dx is equal to negative cot t. Because cos of a sine is cot. Now, for the third example, let's say we have this case. Say we have x is equal to t cubed and y is equal to t squared plus 4. You can always pause the video and attempt to do this on your own. So, for our y, we're going to say t squared plus 4. Then look for dy over dt, which will give us 2t, like that. Then, for our x being equal to t cubed, we say dx over dt is equal to 3t squared. Then we know dy over dx is equal to dy over dx over dx over d, sorry, dy over dt over dt dx over dy t and this will be equivalent to dy over dt was 2t found there over dx over dt which is 3t squared so this will basically be 2t you can put the t and have the 2 there you can put another t there and have the 3t like that so t cancels with t you can say dy over dx is equal to 2 over 3t like that all right i hope it's clear now in in some cases we might also have different type of uh, scenarios let's cut the last example say we have x is equal to t e to the power 2t and y is equal to t squared e to the minus t. Now, let us find uh, these separately. Let's start with x being equal to t e to the 2t. So, dx over dt is equal to the product to, where we say a prime b plus b prime a. If we do up the data, we know that a is equal to t, so a prime is equal to 1, b is equal to e to the 2t so b prime is equal to 2 e to the 2t so dx over dt is equal to a prime b so 1 then b e to the 2t plus b prime which is 2 e to the 2t b prime a which is t like that so dx over dt is equal to e to the 2t plus 2 t e to the 2t and that's the derivative of x with respect to t now once we have the derivative of x with respect to t we can now find the derivative of y with respect to what t so we know we have y being equal to t squared e to the minus t like that so dy over dt is going to be equal to a prime b plus b prime what a can do up a data and look for a a is equal to t squared so we say a prime is equal to what 2t 
then b is equal to e to the minus t so which means that b prime is equal to negative e to the minus what t then we can substitute by saying dy over dt is equal to we substitute sorry about that we substitute we end up having 2t then e to the minus t plus b prime which is minus e to the minus t a which is t squared so you have dy over dt being equal to 2t e to the minus what t minus t squared e to the minus what t so this is basically your derivative of y with respect to what to t now once you have the derivative of y with respect to t it will be uh, very easy to plug back in what you need to find so what we'll do is just plug back so dy over dx is equal to dy over dt over dx over what? dt which is going to be equal to 2t e to the minus t minus t squared e to the minus what? t over e to the power 2t plus t it's a 2t e to the 2t like that so that would be a final answer basically that would be a final answer as you can see all right so this is how you literally go about solving these questions don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel remember slow progress is better than no progress and remember to strategize for becoming a statistic and let us try to push for that a plus